I hope you guys are in the holiday spirit, and if not, I assure you, you will be by the end of this video. Hey guys. Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share with you a Dollar Tree haul. Now I typically share more than one a month during the holiday time, but things have been a little crazy. We're in the process of buying a house. And so a lot of things that I normally purchase, I'm kind of holding off on until we physically get in there because I don't know what we need or where I'm gonna be able to store everything. I won't know all of that till I get inside and get myself situated. So I've been trying to restrain myself just a little bit on my shopping, but I have gone to the Dollar Tree twice and I have so many amazing things to share with you guys, things I just could not resist. So I hope you guys are in the holiday spirit because we are pretty much talking nothing but Christmas here today and I cannot believe what I found simply by going to the Dollar Tree. So get yourself a drink, a snack, sit down, be ready, because we're about to get into the holiday spirit. I'm gonna share my favorite first because I don't wanna wait to share with you guys how stinking cute these are. I'm not really into the whole big gnome thing. Gnomes are really taking off this year. I noticed it on so much of Dollar Tree's like standard things like their glassware or their tins. There's gnomes and stuff everywhere. I'm not really into them so, so much, but these you guys are absolutely gorgeous for a dollar. Now I saw Lisa over at Pookie's View haul them and I know that Kim from the Wads absolutely loves gnomes. So I took a screenshot and sent it to her a few weeks back in her Instagram and said, girl, you need to do a shop with me at the DT because the gnomes are out. And they are just so cute and they're completely worth a dollar. They're weighted down by like rice or beans or something so that they stand up completely straight. And they have these handsome little beard with the nose, I just love it. And there's three separate prints. So you have like the sweater print right there with the little snowflakes and it's just red and white. And then you have this guy. He's another like a sweater like a guy, but he's gray, good and puffy. And look at him. He's so, so sweet. And then the last one is this guy, but he's like a combination of them both. So his body is red, but then his sweater is a red, a white, and gray. So I just want to put all these little guys together. I'm not sure where or how yet, but I'm absolutely in love with them, you guys. And they were a dollar. So next up is another one of these signs. If you guys saw my last Dollar Tree haul, I hauled the one that said Joy, just like this. The O for the Joy was with the wreath with just the JY, but the door was white. And I love, love, love how beautiful these are. These are on the plus side of the store. So this was $5. It's the only plus item I bought, but I absolutely love the quality of this for $5. And in my new house, I have have a area where there's a window seat and so you can put two of these one on each side that's kind of my vision so I won't really know until I get in there but I'm excited about it so I picked this one up and this one just says Noel with the wreath for the O and then the N E L after it and it's just a pretty red color so I'm really excited about this guy this is totally worth the five dollars so I bought another cookies for Santa plate I have one from a long, long time ago that I got from Personal Creations, and it says, to Santa, love Jacob. So Jake, even at 16, my oldest, still puts cookies out for Santa every year on his plate. And then last year, I picked up one, I believe from the Dollar Tree that had the red truck on it, and the little kids left their cookies on it. But now I found this snowman one, and it said, cookies for Santa on it. So Maya is gonna leave her cookies for Santa on the snowman plate and Mason will use the red truck and Jacob will use his. And I hope Santa is hungry that night because he's gonna have a lot of cookie eating to eat. But I just love this. I love the little snowflakes in the back. It is a pretty durable plate and a nice size for a dollar. And I just love it and I know Maya's gonna love it too. So like I said, I hope Santa comes hungry. So I picked these up because I have 
French doors in my dining room that go out into the backyard and I thought that each of the kids could just pick a window and put these little decorations on them. They absolutely love the window clings and I really never let them play with them at this house. I just didn't intend to be here for a full year otherwise I would have pulled that kind of stuff out and let them play but I know they're going to have fun with these and this is seriously my favorite look of all. I mean look how cute they are. So it has like the different kinds of campers and then a snowman with a penguin and Santa and then the red truck with a snowman and a tree and then it says season greetings and a big tree. Like I thought those were so cute. So I got the same pattern just for one for each window and the kids will be able to play with these. So knowing that Madison was coming, I wanted to pick her up a couple of these ornaments because Madison absolutely loves owls and then she also loves the buffalo check. So when I saw these guys, I was like, all right, I have to pick them up for her for her to use on her Christmas tree. So this is just a fat owl and it has little pine cones for like his little horns up top and he's sitting on a little holly berry and his stomach is all buffalo check. Like I just think that is so cute and so high end for a dollar. I saw some of these decorations at Hobby Lobby for $4. Now granted they'll run 50% off sale so it's $2 but it's still not a dollar. So I love when Dollar Tree has high quality stuff like that. And then this guy also pine cones for the horn and he's sitting on the little holly berry and stuff but they're just so sweet and like I said she loves her owl so I'm going to give these to her. And then I picked these up. I love picking these up. I probably spend a good $10, $15 in different kinds of stems each year, but in my bucket, sometimes they'll get crushed and destroyed. And until I get all of my Christmas stuff out, I won't know what I need, but by the time I get it all out and unpacked in the new house, none of it will be in the Dollar Tree. Most of the time there's Valentine's Day by Christmas Day. So I just grabbed three of these picks and on each pick is a one cotton stem, a one pine cone, and a one holly berry. Actually, that one's missing a holly berry. I hope it's in the bag because I pretty much made sure I picked up one that had each. So this has two pine cones, one cotton stem, one holly berry. I think those look so pretty together. Oh no, this one, that's right. This one has the white holly berry so it's two different kinds but still the two pine cones with the one cotton stem so I got one of the white berry and two of the red berry and I'm just going to stick that together somewhere I don't know I definitely will be sharing a Christmas home decor tour so make sure you stay tuned for that two home decor pieces that I picked up that isn't Christmas just kind of slipped into this bag um, but I'm gonna rip the back off of these little dog signs these have the picture backs to them so that you can stand them up but I'm going to rip the backs off and hang one over each of their sections where they'll have their own bowls my dogs have to eat separately they do not like each other when they are eating they will love each other and hug each other and sleep on, on one another all of the other God-given time, but then when they are eating, they are like vicious women and they fight over their food as if it's like the best thing that they've ever eaten in life. And so they need to be separated. So I figured in the new house, I would put one over each person's like little section. And so this one is white and it just says love with a little paw print as the O. And then this one says, be the person your dog thinks you are which I think is so, so cute. So one of them will each get one over their little station. So sticking with the home decor, I did pick up a couple of these chair pads. I think they are super, super cute. And I got two of the red poinsettia and then I got two of the red truck with the trees. But in our schoolroom, we have this wooden table with the four wooden chairs that we use for homeschooling. And I picked it up from Ikea and the table itself works great. And the chairs are super sturdy, but they're just not feel good for your bum. And Mason hates sitting on them. He's constantly standing up at the table or trying to sit on his feet. And I promised him I would get like some kind of cushion for the chair. Now, obviously this is not something that's going to be around all the time and it's probably not the greatest quality, but I want to test the theory. If he still has something softer to sit on, will he sit? So his side of the table, or we'll do like one and one on each side of the table, but I'm just anxious to see if these chair cushions work. All they do is tie with the little strings, but hopefully it makes it a little bit more comfortable to get my kid to sit at the table. So I did separate everything 
into separate bags so that everything is cohesive that I show, but then I didn't put the, keep the bags together. So every time I have a bag, all the things in it will be cohesive, but then the next bag is probably just gonna be something. It's all random over here, you guys. All right, but this bag is all toys, or not necessarily toys, gifts. There's not just toys in here, but gifts. Like, for example, uh, I've mentioned a couple of times that my brother absolutely loves Bob Ross. He just loves the idea of listening to him and watching him paint, and he likes to kind of collect his stuff. And so I found this puzzle. It's a 300 pieces. They had four or five different backgrounds, you know, or types of puzzles that were Bob Ross's paintings, but this is Mighty Mountain Lake. And my mom's actually been doing puzzles. She asked for puzzles for Christmas. She said it's really been helping her therapeutically with her fingertips and her dexterity. And it's keeping her busy because, you know, she's not employed anymore. She's disabled and home. And so she told me no more than 500 though, or it gets a little too overwhelming for her. So I thought the 300 would be good and she could put this together and then they can frame it. They've been gluing all of them and framing all the ones that she's been doing. She's done a bunch of Christmas ones and she has them all hung up already. So I figured she can paint this for my brother. Paint it, oh my goodness, Bob Ross on the brain. She can put it together for my brother. They'll glue it and paint it and he can hang it in his room. And there are so many more different styles that I can always go back and get more. Um, movies, you guys, I always check the movies. Is this one upside down? Yes. So I always check the movies because we have a minivan and we have a TV with a DVD player in our minivan. And I, that was like a requirement for me because when we lived in South Carolina, we took many often long drives to uh, New York and it was 12 hours with kids the movies in the back were key but now my kids are just so used to watching movies that even if we go a short distance for 10 minutes they want something on the tv and so i always look for movies because how do you beat a dollar and i found a couple of things that i thought would work now this i wish that is this supposed to be yes okay so this is vampire dog that's why he's hanging upside down because he's a vampire and i wish that i would have found this before halloween because i would have given this to them as like something to watch on halloween night or whatever but i still think that'll be super fun for them it can't beat that for a dollar and it looks like a super cute story and my kids love anything that has anything to do with animals and then this one says holy night and it's a bunch of different um characters on the front riding a reindeer with some presents and it says this christmas toys will be toys and it says promo up here i'm not exactly sure why but it does say that it is approximately 89 minutes so that's still an hour and a half movie and it's a christmas movie so maybe the elf will bring this one night or we'll give it to them on christmas eve or something with their pajamas so they have something to watch that night but i thought for a dollar it couldn't be a christmas movie that i know the kids will love speaking about things that my kids love Maya loves any kind of Play-Doh, sand. Mason does too, but he's starting to grow out of it. Not Maya, she absolutely loves it. And this is the Morph Foam. And I find these ever so often, but these are still on Amazon for $10 a piece. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I don't know why they end up at the Dollar Tree, but every single time that my kids have gotten something like this, they absolutely love it and they play with it until it is disintegrated and there's nothing left of it. So you kind of can't beat it for a dollar. It says that you can float it, bounce it, morph it, transform it, and it's just like light beaded putty. And my kids just love it. So for a dollar, I picked them up that. And then for Mason, I got him this primary learning sight words. It says grades two to three, which is good because we're working right now on making sure that all of his first grade words since last year was so wonky, he has solid and starting in 2021, we're going to start moving into the second to third grade kind of words. And so this says 38 unique designs and it's 38 different pages of different sight words for him. So this will be just something that we'll work on for the new year. And then this I bought for my lemon friend. Um, you guys know that I generally go shopping to the Dollar Tree if I can with Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom. And one of these trips, two separate Dollar Trees that I went to, one of these trips was with her and Madison Pippin. So they both have a channel. I'll link them down below for you guys. But being that Vanessa is a Lemonade Mom, every time I see lemons, I go to pick it up and it goes in my cart. And she was with me when I bought this and I yelled like across the store, hey V, did you see this? And she said, 
yeah but i have a zillion of you know the kind of calendars and stuff so i don't really need that i was like yeah but look at the sticky notes like the sticky notes are so so cool so that just says notes on it with a giant lemon and then this one has a pineapple on it and it says shopping list and i just thought this was so so cute and i was like look even for the dollar it's worth it for the post-it notes so you're getting it and she was like all right i guess i'm getting it so into my cart it went but if you do need a calendar and you like this print this is a whole 12 month calendar and it's on a like spiral bound which i thought was pretty cool i've never seen it like that before and then the little matching post-it notes so my girl got herself some lemon post-it notes for a dollar. Sticking with the calendar theme, so I know this is probably like a silly calendar, right? Like why kittens? Well, my kids have been constantly talking about cats. Cats, 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 cats. They don't even know that we're contemplating getting them a cat for Christmas. Um, just because they haven't stopped talking about cats. They want a cat, they want a cat. And one day Mason woke up and he was like, mom, I know what I want to get Maya for Christmas. And I was like, okay, what do you want to get her? He said, I want to get her a cat calendar. I don't know why i don't know what possessed him to say it but that's what he wanted and so when i saw this two for one it's a small and a big 2021 kittens calendar and it shows on the back all the cute little kittens like look how sweet that is if you love yourself some kittens then i'm sure you can't get over the cuteness there um but mason was really excited when i got home i'm like hey I picked up your present for you to give Maya and he was super super excited and he's like oh there's two of them she's gonna love it it's like two presents for one so he was all super psyched and they're gonna be even more psyched when they see what Daryl and I have up our sleeve for the holidays all right so they had a bunch of these kind of little gem sticker packs they had color forms they had all different kinds of things like this and they're all novelty like licensed things whether it was frozen and mickey mouse trolls if you're putting together any kind of donation for children out there i highly suggest going over to the dollar tree even if you just want a couple of things as extra filler pieces and then you're still going to go ahead and buy them something a little bit more substantial these things are so super cute and this is even educational for maya because this says it's mess free gem sticker art set and if you see right there Elsa's dress and Anna's dress it's like numbered and you almost have to do like a sticker by number and stuff so that you're able to piece together their whole thing and it's two gem by sticker number posters and 184 gem stickers each one of those different things were different like i said either color forms or something like that but you guys these are great for a dollar as just an extra gift to give someone inside of a filler package because this is super cute any girl's gonna love it and like i said it's also educational so i picked this up for my girl all right new bag new topic sorry about that um but we're on to some food finds but that's okay it keeps it interesting right we're bouncing back and forth uh so I I found a two pack of these cheese it snaps my husband absolutely loves cheese it's and this says cheesy thin and crispy and like i said it was two in there for a dollar sorry about the glare it is it is a super gloomy day here in texas so i have my filming lights on um but I thought this would be good as a stocking stuffer for Daryl. Like I'll give him one for now, but I'm always looking for like munchy kind of stuff for him other than candy. So I thought this would be good. I'll give him a one now and then one in his stocking. And then this I found, oh my goodness, you guys, this was like a huge score. So this says outrageous quick one minute oats and it's 100% whole grain oats, vegan, non-GMO, no sugar added, and it says made with 100% whole grains, four grams of fiber, five grams of protein, and zero sugar, and it's just a giant bag of quick oats, which I actually thought would be a super, super awesome just for when you're doing things like oatmeal cookies and stuff. Sometimes recipes call for the old-fashioned oats, the ones that take time, but sometimes they call for the quick oats, and I've made the mistake of trying to use the ones that take time to cook in a short cookie recipe and then they're tough because the granola isn't properly cooked right so when i saw this and i saw that it was like non-gmo and everything for a dollar at the dollar tree i scooped it up i picked up two of these meals for jake this is the teriyaki beef flavor in the chow mein and it's chow mein noodles with bok choy cabbage and carrots with a sweet teriyaki sauce included and he absolutely loves this he'll usually have this with a salad for a lunch i don't get it for him too often like i said i've only been going to the dollar tree about once a month and 
they only get this stuff after I film. So by the time I get all this stuff and then sit down to film it, it's usually quite some time, but I know he loves this stuff. So I pick that up for him when I go. And then I did find these little elf cookies. So it's a six pack of elf grams and it's just the original flavor. But because it looks like little elves, I just thought this would be something that the elf could bring or maybe it could show him like, I don't know, there's so many fun things on Pinterest like taking a big striped cookie and then you show the elf like putting it through a toilet paper tube and then when it comes out the other side it's like the mini striped cookies so I don't know like maybe showing him in the toilet paper tube as if he's going through a cookie machine and then out coming the little elves I don't know I'll figure it out but either way for a six pack for these cute little cookies I picked this up for our mischief this elf wow I couldn't even say that what for Franklin his name's Franklin so speaking of my elf, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff that you guys are about to see with my elf in mind. So I found this candle that has Santa on it with presents and then there's little elves all over it. So I actually thought in lieu of incorporating other holidays, because for the theme for December in school, the kids and I are going to be talking about all holidays everywhere. I don't want my kids to always be talked as far as Christmas is concerned. I want them to learn about everything. So I want them to learn about Hanukkah, about Kwanzaa. Like we're going to go over all the holidays that are coming up. We're deep in talk right now about Thanksgiving and pilgrims and what the discovery of our country and all that means. So I'm trying to keep things simple and lighthearted for my young children being that they're almost seven and four, but they're still very interested in that kind of stuff because that stuff isn't always focused on in school. So, um, but for needless to say, I, that was a really long tangent. I'm sorry, I do that. Um, but I want to have the kids like this on the first day of Hanukkah. Well, the elf will bring it for the kids to light for the first day of Hanukkah because I thought that would be really, really fun figuring we can incorporate that into our school lesson with whatever the elf would bring. So that's why I got this candle. It's super, super tall. Does it say how many ounces it is? Seven ounces is a pretty tall candle, but I think that that is going to play into my theme just perfectly. And then this says express yourself and it's just a 24 count of party napkins. So I thought when my elf comes, we're probably gonna do some kind of like welcome breakfast or something. We've done that each year with our elf arriving. And so I just thought I would use the napkins for that. And then I found this card that says, have your, what? Have your elf a very Merry Christmas, which I thought was so super sweet. And so it has the elf on the front and then it says, wishing you a cheerful holiday and a bright new year. So I'm going to have Franklin leave this on the tree for Christmas morning because he leaves on Christmas Eve. So this is where he's going to put his goodbye note. So I thought that would be cute to play into that. And then I found the Christmas Sour Patch Kids and each one of my kids absolutely love Sour Patch. So I'm not sure if this is gonna go in their stocking yet or if this is going to be something that the elf brings. A lot of the things in this bag, I haven't figured out yet. Once I filmed it, then I can start separating and deciding what I want to be from the elf, what's going to be stocking stuffers. So keep in mind that somewhere with, I'll be sharing all that once I make decisions with you guys. Um, but for now, this is just me kind of brainstorming. So I did get the Sour Patch Kids for them. And then my kids love squishy toys and I know, oh yeah, here it is. Maya got the unicorn. Like really with that is it's just so squishy. And I never understood the need for these squishy kind of toys until like you find ones that you're like okay i kind of understand why you would want to sit here and squeeze it's just so cute i love all the little colors i know maya's gonna love it because she loves herself some unicorns the little eyelashes just so so sweet so i got that that's probably going to be a stocking stuffer and then mason so favorite color is green and so i just found this green strawberry looking a squishy so i got that for him any kind of squishy for a dollar to be honest you guys is a good deal so speaking of something for mason stocking this is hot wheels id and it's a motorsaurus and so basically there's this little car that's inside again you guys these are great gifts for if you're doing donations or things like that i'm sorry 
about the glare. If you guys can see him, I'm trying to get as close to the camera as possible so you can see the little dinosaur in there. Let me show you him on the front like that. And so this says you can download the app and you can use this car on the app for endless play, which I thought was kind of neat because that means it's not just a car. It's also something that you can carry over, like almost similar to those Annie blocks that I did with the kids. They love those. They are constantly building those puzzles because they want all their little friends in the app. So it's kind of taking technology, which they're so used to, and kind of bringing it to something tangible. So I really, really like this. Um, I'm not sure what this thing retails for. If I could find it, I'll pop it up on the screen. But I just thought for a dollar, you just could not beat that. So I hope Mason likes that. More things bought in threes, but my kids absolutely love gummies and they love the Haribo brand. And this is the Christmas one. So it's just raspberry, which is the red, and strawberry, which is the green. But that'll be perfect one for each kid for their stockings. Some more stocking stuffers and I love the DT for things like this because broken down it's really not bad for a dollar. So here is three pieces of the Sellas. These are the delicious cherries covered with real milk chocolate. Paul absolutely loves these. It's like his favorite flavor his favorite candy and stuff. So whenever he goes to the Dollar Tree, if he sees these, he scoops them up. So I picked up two of those for his stocking. And then both my husband and Paul love the mint. So whenever I see the Junior Mints, and this is the Christmas one, it's the Peppermint Crunch. So it has like the little tiny pieces of like mint in there. I always pick these up before the guy's stocking as well. So I got those. And then I got this for Jake's stocking, which I thought was really funny. This says Lump of Coal Cookies, and it's dense chocolate fudge cookies. But... I'm always teasing Jake and so that he's going to get coal in his stocking, so I thought that was super cute. I got these cups for my kids, and the elf is definitely going to bring this with some kind of elf juice. Like, I've seen all over where you add, like, green dye to milk, and it's the elf turned your um, milk, like, to elf drink or whatever. I'm not really too keen on the dye, so to say, like, taking actual food dye and just dumping it into milk or something, but I am definitely could make my kids, like, a green smoothie with spinach and pineapple and all that kind of stuff, and so I think that I'm going to have the elf make the kids, like, a smoothie, maybe show the kitchen all a mess with, like, fruit in the blender and everything everywhere, and then, like, these cups of smoothie in the refrigerator, like, waiting for them to get up or something, so I thought it was super cute. These probably will not hold up longer than the year but no big deal what I loved about them is the same print but it just shows Santa on there with his little sack of presents but do you see the little spiral straw that goes down into the bottom of the cup and then this just folds out for them so it's a pretty neat straw cup for a dollar like I said don't put this in the dishwasher and it won't hold up for very long but for two bucks and for something that the elf was going to bring it's going to work out perfect some more stocking stuffers for the kids and like I said I love the Dollar Tree for these kinds of things because my kids usually whatever you could stick inside of a stocking is going to get destroyed anyways so I would rather just do for a dollar I think between everything I've gotten I only need to get like their toothbrush right now I always get them toothbrush and toothpaste and maybe a gift card and I usually put a scratch off inside and that's it like they're already done with everything I've picked up so this is LA colors and it says you are very sweet and it looks like a macaroon and it's a lip balm so I got that for Maya there was also a green one that was minty and then a grape one that says like you are grape instead of you're great and then I forget what the mint one said but there were three of them this is strawberry flavored so I know she's going to like that and then this is a surprise dino egg and it just says what dino will you get so it's a blind bag and it just has a brachiosaurus a triceratops a tyrannosaurus and then a petrosaur hmm I've never seen that one before. It kind of looks like a pterodactyl, but it's not. I don't even, I don't want to butcher that name, but I think I pretty much just did. But my kid loves himself some dinosaurs and any kind of blind bag for a dollar is a good deal. So I just picked this up for Mason stocking. And then these are for Maya. Like these are huge scores 
for a dollar. So I've gotten a bunch of the different like cosmic crayons and stuff. They've had metallic, pastel, all these specialty Crayola crayons, but these are the mermaid tails and they're 16 count. So all those other ones have only been an eight count, but it's still been worth it for the dollar because they're the specialty Crayola crayons that are a heck of a lot more in the store. But this is just all like pastel mermaid colors, but there's 16 in that box. So I think that's a really good deal for a dollar. So I picked that up for Maya. And then I also saw this Play-Doh and they had a Frozen 2 Play-Doh. So I got her the white, the blue, and the purple, which was every one that I saw, but it's Elsa, Anna, and Olaf. And I just thought they were so, so cute. It's the Crazy Art Softy Dough brand, which usually I prefer like straight up Play-Doh and they usually do carry that at the Dollar Tree. But this Softy brand is the same brand that I got the kids of the clay that we use in the homeschool room. And the kids literally sat there all day yesterday and just played with clay and made all different animals and shapes and letters and stuff. So I just thought these were super, super cute. My kids are going to love to play with them. And I believe these tops are a stamp yeah it's an Elsa figure stamper so you're just gonna go ahead and make like one circle and then use that top lid to stamp on Elsa and then the same with both Anna and Olaf they're also a little like stamp on the top but I mean these are great stocking stuffers you guys for just a buck so I went a little crazy on like the cookie boxes and tins and bags just because I feel like we're going to be giving out a ton this year. So Daryl has about 16 employees in his store that we'll be buying for and he's in the process of hiring a few more. So it's a good possibility by Christmas time it'll roughly be about 20 employees. And so what I was thinking, he said he would leave it up to me whatever we wanted to do. So. I was thinking about making a thing of some kind of baked goods and putting it inside these boxes that I bought and then sticking a gift card to the top. I mean, we already said we were gonna do a gift card, but then do you just wanna stick a gift card like inside of a card? I don't know, I just felt like it would be more personable to put it like on one of these cookie boxes. So there's so many different kinds of these cookie boxes and there's two in each one and they're all different shapes. Like some are just a square, some are rectangle. So this one says Baking Spirits Bright and it has the red and white with the little gingerbread guy on it. Like look how cute that box is and there's two for a dollar. Like I said and I know that I got multiples I'm pretty sure that I got two of each kind so then this is the long one and this has the poinsettias on it so super cute yep here were two together of this one and this is the rectangle one with the Christmas trees all over I think that looks so like more manly to give to the men and then there's this one, which has the little penguins all over it. And these ones are also long, like the rectangle shape. And then these ones I love. I think these are so beautiful. And these just have the holly berry all over it and they say tis the season. Look how stinking sweet those are. And then here's more of the square ones. So this one just has blue snowflakes all over it. Again, super manly. And then of course, I absolutely love this one. And I got two of these and that's more square, but it's got the red truck on it, which I think is super awesome. And then speaking of the red truck, they also had like these loop bags that had the red truck on it and it says a Merry Christmas. And then we also have these ones, which I thought were so sweet. There's only 10 of them in here, but they're treat bags that look like that with the red car with all the presents on top. But I also give to my servicemen every single year. Uh, on Long Island, that's a very, very popular. I know in some places, other places they do do that where you tip like your mailman or your postman, but when I first moved to South Carolina and I went to tip my postman and you know my garbage men, my recycling guy, just like we always did in New York, they were blown away. And I was so surprised, like, 
you mean people don't tip you for the holidays? And it always just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was brought up differently. Like my dad was always outside waiting to see our mailman to give him a bonus every single year. Um, but all of my family members worked in the postal service, like retired from the postal service. And my aunt said that a good portion of her Christmas was always paid by the tips that she was given because she had such a great relationship with her route because she worked the route for years. And so, it was just weird for me to come to other states and see if they do things different. But this year I'm going to have two separate places to tip my servicemen. Like I've been at this rental all year. So these garbage men, these recycling people, the, you know, my mailman here, they deserve a thank you for, you know, taking care of me and taking my garbage and my recyclables and bringing me my mail all year. But now at the new house, I know we're only going to be there a month, but are the people who lived there going to leave something for those servicemen before they go? Probably not because it's the middle of November. So are they going to tip them for Christmas in November? Probably not. I don't know if I would have thought of that necessarily if I were living there. And so I feel like I don't want to not tip them because I don't know these people or they'll only have been my servicemen for a month because don't they deserve something for taking care of that particular residence all year round? So I'll be giving out tons of goodies. I usually do leave them some kind of cash as well as, you know, cookies and little candies and stuff that I make. So I will have all of Daryl's employees plus servicemen here and there and all over the place. So I wanted to be pretty stocked on like all of my boxes and treat bags. I even bought a bunch of these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them for decor yet or if I'm gonna give these out to like our neighbors and stuff. But this just says a North Pole tree farm and it's a metal container and all along the sides it has the little red trucks and snow and stuff and it's a pretty decent size and it's just gold on the inside but just super cute to you know send someone some love with a little bit of yummies inside now i also found this container but i'm gonna save this one for here just for any overflow of things that i bake that we're gonna save here at the house i can throw inside of this container and so this one of course just has the red trucks all over it. if you haven't caught on i am kind of obsessed with this theme and i'm not sorry about it one bit i absolutely love it my father always drove pickup trucks my whole life and this is something that just reminds me of him and just that old style like Ford 1950s feel. I don't know. That's what this gives me and I love it. And it's just got a clear top. Ooh, this is really on good. That's good to know. Um, so it has a little rubber rim for suction right there. And then it just goes on top. But I'll be using this, like I said, for storage of cookies. And then I also picked up these. So this one's kind of short. I think I'm actually going to use this like on charcuterie boards or during Christmas time and stuff for like dips and that kind of stuff. But it says, it is the season to be, and there's two of the containers with the red truck on them and then this little green snap on lid. So I thought that was more for like staying home and using kind of, you know, that kind of stuff, like just using it as a bowl for dips and stuff. And then this one I'll send out to neighbors, friends, family. And this one just says joyful, merry and bright, peace, Christmas joy. And this is more of a bucket, like it has a handle lid, but there's two of these in there too for the dollar. So every single one of these were either a two pack or those sacks were 10, the other sacks were 20, with the exception of that North Pole tin. And this one, every single other one was a double pack. So I should be good on all the vessels that I need for my baked goods. And then I did go ahead and pick up the candy canes for our tree because I saw candy canes that cater to everyone. So my husband loves himself some good old Kool-Aid. And so I saw Kool-Aid candy canes and there's two tropical punch, two cherry and two grape. So I got that for the hubs to put for his candy canes on the tree. And then my little kids love anything sour. All three of my kids are obsessed with sour. And so I saw sour candy canes in Warheads and it's two black cherry, two blue raspberry and two green apple. So I got that for them to hang on the tree. And then Paul and I are all about our chocolate. And this is by Brock's and it's six hot cocoa candy canes. And so I got this for us to hang on the tree.
One a little random floater, and this is just the Let's Planner stickers. You guys know I decorate my meal planner when I do my grocery hauls and meal plans, and I love the Let's Planner stickers. This is Greenbrier, but their stickers are so high quality, and you get so many. 369 stickers, you guys, for a dollar. But what I loved about these was all the pet ones. Like, you know me, I love my puppies and if we're going to get ourselves a cat like we're definitely a, a animal family and this has different dogs and cats and all different kinds of and there's food stuff on there like there's drinks and a pizza and there's even a cup with a lemon on it so like when i'm hanging out with my lemon friend i can put that on my meal planner as well so thought this was super cute so for a buck i scooped this up as well i know it's not christmas related but it's snuck in there all right so I was lying. I bought more containers. But I promise you, this is it. Like I said, just kidding. But this is a bigger one of that tin that I just showed you. And I think it's because I did plan on using this for decor. Like the big one and then the small one together. Maybe with some little fake trees around it because it says North Pole Tree Farm. But I love the little red truck. So I'm pretty sure I bought these for decor. But who knows? I may need the container. Anyways, but then I bought some of these again to keep like residual cookies at home and this one just says let it snow and oh so good and it has little cups of cocoa with the gingerbread on it and it's on two sides with a plain red lid and that is a pretty decent size tupperware so i'll be able to keep some goodies in there i actually love to cook christmas cookies like all kinds of christmas cookies uh if you guys are new here and this is your first video uh with vanessa over at lemonade mom we just put out a holiday edition cookbook which you guys can find on our website and it's linked right down below in the description box but there's so many family recipes of holiday cookies and now that I put them in the cookbook now I can't wait to bake them because I only made like little mini batches it was July and I was making Christmas cookies so I only made small batches to photograph for the cookbook but now I actually want to make them so that we can eat and enjoy them because I love them so picked up that and then i also picked up this so of course it's got the red truck on it like i said have you detected a theme but it's super cute it's just on the lid it's a lot more shallow more for brownies or bars or something like that but again i just picked up stuff to store our own goodies because something tells me i'm going to be baking a fair amount this year all right well i'm pretty sure that was the perfect segue for this you guys cookbooks from the Dollar Tree. Now, I absolutely love my cookbooks. I use them quite often for my meal inspiration. If I'm not using cookbooks, I'm using Pinterest. I get really bored of the stuff that I cook all of the time. So when I see new cookbooks for a dollar, I get completely inspired. And there were just so many that I just they were a great deal. Matter of fact, a lot of these cookbooks Vanessa got also because there were two of them and her and I were together. And when we got to the register, the guy said they just unpacked them and they only got two of each kind and we pretty much took them. But this one I don't think she got and this one says the little juice box. So it's all different books on how to juice and do like make real good juices. So they have a detox, an energize, a health remedies, and immune boosters. Like we all could use some health remedies and immune boosters, especially right now, and a detox after the holidays and some energy after everything we're going to go through right now. I am all about it. So I thought this was super cute. It's also great for a gift because it's wrapped in plastic and... You know they're all it's in, almost like in a little case holding the four of them and it retailed for $16.99 so what a great deal for a dollar and then this one I got says a cookies and cocktails and it just reminded me very much of our own cookbook because we put in cocktails and appetizers and desserts so this kind of like spoke to the mindset that I've been in for the last few months or so so this just has some great things in here I mean I've like was flipping through and look at this chocolate pecan caramel candy bars like look how they have that stack that is so cute to give to somebody as a gift this time of year and this was $14.95 originally so how do you beat that $15 and then you get the book for a dollar and they're all hardcover and super like durable nice sturdy books 
This one says delicious dips, and again, I just mentioned those little cups. I love dips, all kinds of things to dunk in, especially on our charcuterie board and stuff. And then like this says meat and seafood dips, like every kind of dip you can think of, vegetable and herb kind of dips. So it's all different sections. What does this one say? Look, a dip into India. And it's just a Indian inspired dip. That look curry powder and yogurt like that is so awesome for somebody who's into those kinds of flavors so i felt like that was a really good deal and what's the retail price on this one does it say 16.95 in the us so 17 dollars for that cookbook and then if you guys watch any of my lunch videos you know i'm always looking for inspiration too because then i can inspire you guys and this one says the best lunch box ever ideas and recipes for school lunches kids would love and i literally share a what's for lunch video at least once a month here on the channel if not more and so i'm always looking for ideas look like i've even done that before like I just shared that recently as a food hack, doing like an apple sandwich with peanut butter and raisins. I love the skewer down here with bread, basil, tomato, and mozzarella, like a caprese little skewer stick with a little thing of vinegar on the side, like so super cute, just different innovative ideas that maybe our kids will be interested in. And this was $24.95, you guys, $25. And I got it for a buck so this one says dip swirl and savor and it is a fondue book and i love fondue daryl and i went to the melting pot when him and i went away together last year and that was my first experience like at a fondue restaurant and for dessert we put dark chocolate with amaretto like a shot of di Sirono, inside of our chocolate and they melted it right there at the table and brought us this array of stuff to dip into and i was so blown away by how amazing that flavor is and i just would love to kind of recreate something like that and so so I got the fondue book in hopes that maybe inside of here could be some kind of inspiration. Candied ginger, lemon, and cream cheese fondue. Hello, yum, caramel pecan fondue, chocolate hazelnut fondue, white chocolate almonds. There you go, game changer. That's why I got it. Yep, this is gonna be good. And what is the retail value on this guy? $14.95 in the US. So again, great deals on cookbooks and then wait till you see this one. My last and final cookbook, and this one is a doozy. Do you see how big this is? There are all these different chefs that are involved in this book. And it says the food we make for the people we love from 100 of our finest chefs and food heroes. So there's 100 different chefs that go into making this book. And all the proceeds went to No Kids Hungry, which I love that. And this retailed for $40. $40, you guys, on the regular shelf. And we got it for a dollar. And I was looking through... I don't see any chefs that I recognize as in like maybe one that would be on the Food Network or something like that, but obviously these people are famous chefs somewhere or they wouldn't be inside of this book. So I'm really, really excited to kind of dive into this because I think that I'm going to do a theme for some time in 2021 where at least one week out of every single month, I'm doing nothing but solely using cookbooks to derive my meals. Maybe we can find something that we can put into our regular rotation. So I was really excited for all these finds. Make sure you guys check your book sections when you go into the DT. Back to some more home decor for Christmas time. So I found this and I thought these were really awesome also. So it's a very similar to those window clings that I share with you guys, but this is for the wall. And all the wall stickers have done amazing with sticking and then peeling right off. Now it's very popular here, the textured wall in Texas. So I don't know how well this will stick, but we're gonna give it a try. And this says includes one sheet of graphics and it has the red truck, the red car, the camper, the wagon, trees scooter literally all sorts of things I think that is so so cute for a dollar and then I did pick up these two signs I went with this snowman one I know it says that it's like it kind of looks like a mom a dad and a kid like that's the way that they represent it on there but it almost looks like a grown-up and then like a middle and then a smaller and I kind of thought that suited the three kids so I thought I could hang this between the 
little kids are in one room and then Jacob's in the other room and I thought I could kind of hang this between the two kids rooms so it kind of represents them and it looks like it's on a sled and I love that it's all the rustic wood and it says let it snow I just thought that was so super cute so I picked that guy up and then of course you guys I found a red truck like how stinking cute is that I thought that was so sweet for a dollar like look at even the detail of the little string around the tree that makes it look like there's lights on there so super cute just a little bit of glitter but not too much not a huge fallout but nothing hairspray won't fix just so super cute again you guys a dollar i love this stuff i got some candles you guys and these are holiday scents and what candle company is this because i remember looking and saying wow i was very blown away oh it's the rose collection and usually these ones are awful but this is winter wonderland and it smells so good like glistening snow glade used to put out a candle called glistening snow and it was my absolute favorite it's not as close to the winter from bath and body works it's definitely more like the glistening snow but it's so pretty and it's super manly and jake likes to light the occasional candle in his room and so i thought this was nice and manly for him so i picked that up for him and then this one is called cranberry chutney and that's exactly what it smells like like when i'm making my own cranberry sauce and it's simmering on the stove it smells so so good and this one was more just like the plain red pattern so i grabbed this one for myself just to set on top of the sink during the holiday time so now on to some food finds so i picked my husband up his rip it drinks these are the energy drinks that he really really loves and this is the red power flavor he says that these are the only ones that don't do like that crazy like jittery feel for him and how can you beat that for a dollar so i picked these up for him then i picked up these and i'm going to use these for all of my big boys for stocking stuffers so i got two of the peanut butter chocolate and one of the cookies and cream so i'll show you the peanut butter and chocolate one first so these are called scrumptious cookies with peanut butter in chocolate and it almost looks like a thin mint but inside of it it has a peanut butter and vanessa said that she thought these were really really good so like i said i picked up two of the peanut butter one for daryl and one for paul for their stockings because they both absolutely love peanut butter and then Jacob is more the cookies and cream. So this says scrumptious cookies with vanilla filling coated in a white cream. So again, it looks very similar to a Thin Mint, but it has little pieces of like a cookie on top and then vanilla filling on the inside. So I'm pretty sure that Jake's going to love that. Speaking of a Jake, I got this little four pack of just two cookies in each one, but I'm doing a dessert hack that you guys will see in just a couple of weeks and it involves Oreo cookies. And I have the leftover Halloween Jojo's from Trader Joe's that I was using, using for the kids' lunches. I have just a few left, so I was like, all right, I'll use the Oreos for that. But Jake would never eat it because he absolutely hates the Jojo's from Trader Joe's. And so I just picked up this small pack of Oreos for him so I can make his part of the dessert with these ones and then the little kids will eat the jojos from trader joe's but i just picked that up for him because i know my boy's gonna be picky i'm gonna make this big old dessert and he's not gonna eat it speaking of things i pick up for my kids to eat i can't with the zaps you guys i've turned my daughter and i was doing so good with not buying them and bringing them into the house anymore and now my daughter is obsessed and she doesn't have an ounce of fat on her so i'm going to let her enjoy her kettle style pickle chips so i got her the zaps new orleans kettle style cajun dill gator taters and so they are actually got a little bit of a spice to it that's why they're cajun but they're really really good for pickle chips so i got her that and then these are the really really spicy zaps voodoo heat and my daughter likes these too mom likes these too i'm not gonna lie swoop in and steal a couple of them i don't think they're too spicy but i know my daughter loves them and i love them so these will probably i don't know i'll say they'll be stocking stuffers but you never know what mood it will be in 
All right, something I bought for my kids for us to do during that time when we're doing like tons of baking and we need like a variety of things to spread out amongst these boxes. And this is Betty Crocker's Brittle Mix and it's brownie flavor. And it says it's ready in three easy steps. So I love brownie brittle and this sounds really, really good. And so we're just gonna use it. It says that it's still good until March of 2021. So we have plenty of, plenty of time to use it. But like I said, we're gonna use it for a baking time. So I picked that guy up. And then did you guys see my what I eat in a day Dollar Tree edition? So that definitely turned out to be a hot mess video. But if you guys want to see the Hot Mess Express gone live in a what I eat Dollar Tree video, I'll link it up above so you guys can check it out. But one of the things that I ate was this cream of wheat Cinnabon hot cereal. So I mentioned in the video that two packages are too much, but one is not enough, but only three come in here. So it's kind of like an odd number and I ate two and I only had one left. So I picked up another box, this way I can add it to this and now I have a two separate sittings. Again, two is too much, so maybe a kid will come in and swoop in and take a couple of bites, but one is definitely not enough because this stuff is amazing. So if you love cream of wheat, this is the Cinnabon flavor and it is so good and it is worth the dollar. Speaking of a great deal for a dollar, something else by Betty Crocker is this says mix a chill and top and it's chilled treats. So it's chocolate mousse with chocolate ganache topping. Doesn't that sound so, so yummy? So I thought I can use this and put like a Christmas pick in it and like some Christmas sprinkles and give this to them for Christmas themed lunches. Or maybe I'll use this for like Thanksgiving themed lunches or something. That's something I'm going to do for the kids next week. So it just says it chills in five minutes and it has like a really yummy mousse on the bottom with a chocolate ganache on top. And so I'm definitely going to use utilize this for my kiddos because they all love stuff like this. So not a whole lot of stuff for mom, right? I know, I know, but it's gift giving season. But I did pick up a couple of things for mom and this is pretty much my bag. So I saw this Kitchen Helper Soft Grip BPA Free Heat Resistant Whisk and what I really like this because I don't have a lot of like the silicone ones. I have a lot of like the metal ones and wood ones and they scrape a lot of my copper pans. I got new pans recently that a company sent to me and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're like a granite type pan, but I just don't want them to get ruined with my utensils. So I found this whisk and it's gray, which is one of my favorite colors. And so I love that with the soft grip handle. So I'm excited to give this guy a try. Something else for Mama is these Fiji waters, and I went ahead and got four of them this time. Last time I always only got three, but this is my favorite water of all time. And if you guys have ever had this water, I know you will agree with me. Comment down below. Let me know if you agree with me that this Fiji water is absolutely stinking amazing. It's like drinking a cloud, and you cannot find bottles of Fiji water for a dollar. So I picked up, like I said, four of these. I'm going to keep them in my little beverage cooler. We have these beverage coolers all over the house companies always send them to me and then we literally love them and use the heck out of them because it just keeps things tangible for the kids to be able to grab what they want with ease same thing for us i take medicine at night and i'll come up to bed and forget that i didn't take my medicine and i won't want to go back downstairs but now i've learned to keep my beverage cooler up here stocked with things to drink and medicine up here so if i've come all the way up to bed and i forgot to take my medicine then there's no excuse because there's a drink up here and my medicine right there and i can remember to take it so it's just better for us to kind of have these little things all over the house that kind of help us out so i'm going to load up our beverage coolers with my water and then something else i picked up for my is this tis the season glass I know it's gonna probably going to be hard to see oh you can see it um, but I thought they were so super cute this little stemless wine glass I did a lot of holiday cocktail making for this cookbook and a couple of them I've been making for years but a couple of them I just kind of recently while we were in the process of making the book played with to come up with and I came up with a mistletoe margarita that was so, so delicious. I made it with agave and it's just so yummy. And I'm gonna put it in this cup for myself. 
whether it be Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or whenever or all December long. Um, so I got this cup for myself and then I also got these for myself as well. These are milk chocolate flavored stirring spoons and it says you can mix in warm milk or mix in coffee, which that's what mama is thinking. So it says a melt away chocolate treat and I'm thinking for all of my chocolate coffee mornings, stirring in one of these guys will be absolutely perfect and so I am super excited about that. Oh, you guys, I'm exhausted. I'm not even sure how long this video is going to be. Probably a good hour or so because I know how many times I had to turn my camera on and off and there was a heck of a lot of stuff here. So if you made it all the way through, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you, especially if you are new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have at least one if not two more Dollar Tree hauls before the end of the year and lots of good stuff coming up on the horizon. I have a lot of announcements to make for you guys coming up super super soon so make sure that you have that notification bell clicked so you don't miss any of my random uploads. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Go check out Vanessa and Madison. Their channels are linked below as well as my website so you can hop on there and check out all the goodies there. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.